Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing well. Thank you ever so much for clicking on this video and tuning in today. This is a very much different video from what you guys are used to seeing on my channel, which is like fashion and occasional lifestyle vlogs, I guess. But today I am here to bring you guys my bedroom tour. Now I have promised this video since I created my Instagram home account which is simply at stylish underscore home so make sure you guys follow me on there and I think under my first post the caption under my first post was that I was going to bring you guys a bedroom tour but over the months should I say I have changed quite a few things in my bedroom and I wanted it to be perfect not only for me but to also show it to you guys as well so without further delay I'm going to get straight into the video and I'm going to talk you guys through the contents of my bedroom and how I basically came up with the idea to design it this way. So over here, when you come straight into the room and you look to your left is where I have my IKEA Malm drawer. This drawer is such a popular product amongst so many people on this planet, literally. And I can totally understand why. It is so easy to put together. The assemble instructions are very, very simple. So you can easily put it together at home. And it stores all of my essential items that I need. This first drawer here is where I keep all like my makeup and beauty and skincare. It looks a bit messy right now, guys, but this drawer is just so, so easy for me to just grab what I need and go. I've got my makeup in here. I've got skincare in here. I've got belts, accessories, jewelry, um, perfumes, everything in here, you name it. I've been able to fit it in here along with these um I don't know what they're called, but they're like dividers and they're also from Ikea as well. And then in the last three drawers is where I keep like um, my essential clothes. So like leggings, basic tops, pajamas, vests, etc. But when you come into the room, this is the first thing that you see on your left. Now over here is where I have like this is where like my decor comes in to the video, I guess. This is where you see like the type of things that I'm into. So my style, again, as you guys know, it's very, very minimal. Um, I wanted to keep this place um, as decorated as much as possible, but not too crowded because there isn't too much room to do too much on here anyway. But as you guys can see, I've got two large coffee table books here which I purchased from Amazon. I've got this Zara Home candle, which is in uh, white jasmine. I've never actually lit this candle before. So um, yeah. <laughs> and then I've got my Dr. Vrangis or Dr. Vrangis. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, my scent diffuser from Dr. Vrangis, which I, I've had for quite, um, I think I've had for over a year now. And guys, look, I've still got a lot in there. And I use this almost every day I kid you not I use this almost every day and then last but by no means least on this table I've got the ever popular Anissa Kermit um, love handles vase which I absolutely love it's a ceramic vase um, it's so versatile in many ways you can pop flowers in there uh, or you can just leave it you know just like how I've left it and I think I prefer it like this so this is where I have most of my decor and I really, really love it. It's just nice, it's simple and it just adds a bit of more detail to the room. And then moving on to the second huge item that you see when you come into the room or shall I say huge piece of furniture is my wardrobe. Again, this is also from Ikea. But I can't remember the name of it, to be fair. And it was purchased back in 2016. So I did go on the website and have a look, but I couldn't find this exact wardrobe on there. So I will link similar ones in the description box below. But this is so easy and convenient for me because it comes with a mirror, a long mirror, so I can always get ready, have a final look at myself before heading out the door. Um, it's also got two sections, of course, as you can see. So the first section is where I have all my 
like shirts and blazers and you know clothes that need to be put on a hanger um i've got a organized system here so as you can see things are color coordinated and then at the bottom is where i have all my bottoms so like jeans skirts trousers etc but i absolutely love this wardrobe it's so easy and convenient it's good quality um it has lasted for quite a good period of time and i hope it will last longer um inside i have these hangers which are also from ikea just call me the ikea girl guys just call me the ikea girl again i decided to go for a more like coordinated theme here with the white hangers i wanted everything to look clean and uniformed so i got these hangers which is a good buy from ikea so sliding onto the other side is where i keep all of my shoes and handbags you guys would have seen this part of my wardrobe there's a shoe missing <laughs> these girls are always playing with my shoes honestly but yeah the shoe's back now <laughs> but yeah you guys would have seen this part of my wardrobe again so many times either on my instagram if you have me on snapchat um you would have seen it so many times and i think i've even showed you guys quite a couple of times over on this youtube channel but this is where i keep all of my heels and like my dressy shoes and my dressy bags as well i've reorganized this space so many times to try and like color coordinate and keep things neat and uniformed but again i absolutely love these shelves i love the space it's accommodating to all of my shoes and um it makes everything just so much easier to just open and grab what you are looking for. And yes, I've got a box of my first stacking building blocks here because the girls keep fighting over the toys. This is Jemima's toy. Jill doesn't want Jemima to play with it alone. And I've just decided to hide it here because they can't reach it. And then right next to the wardrobe, you have my curtains here. Again, these were featured on my Instagram home account. So guys, please make sure you follow me on there because I do post things on there first hand. But I absolutely love these like sheer curtains. They are blacked out. So from the outside, you can't actually see what's inside. They are very affordable. They're easy to clean. You can just put it in the washing machine. Um, I killed a spider in one of them the other day and it was very very nasty so I had to take it down and put it in the washing machine and then I just put it back up I didn't need to iron it there were no creases um perfectly fine and I just put it back up so yeah I absolutely love these curtains I also love the curtain pole as well it's a very slim curtain pole and it just fits with the space so nicely it's black so it matches everything in this room and then to either side of the room, when you come straight in, you will see these two photo frames over here, which are pictures that I took in Mauritius, which was my last holiday, guys, 2019. That was my last holiday. Wow. And I absolutely love these photo frames. They are from Decenio. And I've just placed them onto the wall with those command strips because I have plasterboard walls. So I didn't want to um, put any nails in there, although I know that you can apparently, but I just didn't want to take the risk and I couldn't be bothered to hire someone to do it. Plus, they're just easier to take off the wall if you change your mind and it doesn't leave any holes or any mess. So I absolutely love these copper frames. They do match my copper lamp, which I showed you guys previously and I might change it in future because I've been contemplating if I should spray them black or if I should just leave it like that to match the lamp but I'm more steering towards probably spraying them black but we'll see but yeah I absolutely love them and again they will be linked down in the description box below and then moving on to this corner of the room this is where I've got my accent chair i absolutely love this chair i struggled so much to find the perfect accent chair hi guys <laughs> i struggled so much to find the perfect accent chair for my room i wanted a white one but then i thought you know with my kids coming in and out i don't want it to get dirty it's going to be too high maintenance but then i thought you know what what the heck let me just go with what i like 
and what I want. So I ended up finding this one again on Cult Furniture, which I purchased, um, say, over a year ago. And it was quite expensive, but it's a very, very good quality chair. Um, I've just sort of like decorated it with this Ikea cushion insert and this Ikea cushion cover. Um, if you guys are a huge Ikea lover like me, then anything Ikea, you would notice it immediately in this video. But I absolutely love this chair. It's so great for, you know, um, sitting down, reading. Um, sometimes I just sit here, I play with Jemima. Um, if I just want to look outside because I've got windows on both sides of me when I'm sitting here then I can just sit here and look outside and just enjoy the view. I don't have the greatest view but sometimes I just like to look at the sun, look at the clouds, just daydream or just you know be in my thoughts and this is just like the perfect, perfect place to sit. It's just so relaxing and um, I think for me as well it was very important for me to have somewhere for somewhere for maybe like guests i'm not really someone that lets guests into my bedroom but you know like my close friends or family if they come around and you know if we're chilling in the room for example then they have somewhere to sit other than sitting on my bed because one of my pet peeves is putting outside clothes on a bed i don't like it at all so yeah i absolutely love this chair This famous lamp, which has been featured on my Instagram home account on so many occasions, is actually a great purchase from Cult Furniture. I got this lamp back in 2019, around the summertime, and I believe it was actually the last one in stock because I did put my email in there so that I could receive another notification once the lamp was back in stock, but I didn't hear anything back from them, so I'm assuming... I picked up the last one but I absolutely love love this copper style lamp it is the excellent touch to the room because I needed a pop of color in the room and so I decided that this would be the perfect pop of color for me quality is really good and I've just got it sitting on this malm um, chest of drawers or shall I say bedside drawers from Ikea Okay, so now for the big main furniture piece in the room, which is obviously the essential in the bedroom, is of course the bed. Now, again, you guys would have seen this bed so many times. You would have even seen it on this YouTube channel because I used to film all of my sit down videos in this room. So you would have seen the bed or at least the headboard of the bed in the background. I can't remember where this bed is from, but I absolutely love it. As you can tell, it's white. It's a leather bed and it's also a TV bed as well. So there's a TV in here, which I will prop up for you guys in a second so that you can see what it looks like in more detail. But I have gone through so much with this bed from different colours to different furnishings, different patterns, different fabrics, different designs, different looks, you name it. This bed has been through it all. But after reverting back to my original style, which is black and white, I thought, why not just keep it black and white? Now, there is a lot of high maintenance with the bed because, first of all, the fabric is leather. And then, of course, the bedding and everything else is also white. I have to constantly clean this bed, especially when I have the kids in the room and we occasionally watch movies together. Now, my duvet is a king size duvet. I'm sorry, it doesn't look like a hotel style, freshly ironed, non crease duvet at the moment, but it is a king size duvet. One thing I did learn in interior is that whenever you buy a bed, you should go, always go one size up with the bedding. So if you have a double bed, get a king size duvet. If you've got a single bed, get a double size duvet, etc. But I absolutely love this duvet. It's really nice and plush. It's so soft and I've covered it with a white duvet cover from Marks and Spencer. These black pillows are from Ikea the inserts as well as the covers they're very old but I believe it's a product that they always have so I will link it down in the description box below and then the pillows at the back are very very nice plush hotel style pillows from Amazon so again they will be linked down in the description box below as well I absolutely love this bed it is so comfortable 
Um, the mattress is a deep fitted mattress. I believe that's what it's called and it's from Wayfair. I will find it on the website and link it down in the description box below. Um, there are three more additional pillows that usually go on this bed. You guys would have seen it at the beginning of this video. They are from Sewn by B. I will insert a separate cutaway or a picture so that you guys can see it. But it's usually what I put in front of these um, two black pillows to complete the look on the bed. But I absolutely love everything about this bed overall. Initially, I did want to change it because I didn't want a bed that had not necessarily a TV, but I just didn't like this part of the bed. So I wanted to change it, but then I thought to myself, no, because if I do want a TV in the room, I'm gonna have to find somewhere else in the room to put the TV, which will obviously limit the space a little bit more. So I decided to keep it because it's a good bed. It's of good quality and yeah, I absolutely love it. Moving on to the lights that I absolutely love. These lights are from made.com. They are the flush pendant lights or something like that, I can't remember the name, but I absolutely love these lights. They make my room so much brighter now compared to how it was before. Before I had a white lampshade and it was just so dim. Um, I think obviously the light bulb contributed to the dimness because it was a warm, a very, very warm light bulb. But this just makes so much more difference. I'm just going to pop the light on so that you guys can see. It's just so nice and bright and I absolutely love it. I believe it's on sale right now. So I will link it down in the description box below. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. I believe I've included everything that there is to include in the video. I think the only thing I probably didn't cover are the curtains, which I will link down in the description box below. And I think my frames, my photo frames, I will link them in the description box below as well. But guys, I will definitely encourage you or urge you to follow my home account at Simple Yet Stylish underscore home on Instagram because over there I post so much more detailed content of everything that there is to know about my home, particularly my bedroom. That's where I've been posting like most things about my bedroom on. So make sure you follow me at simple yet stylish underscore home. It will be linked down in the description box below. Also, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up because it is a great indication that you guys are enjoying the home content that I'm occasionally throwing in there over on this YouTube channel. So please, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know what your style is when it comes to homeware slash decor. Are you Scandi? Are you modern? Are you country style? Are you modern country? Are you old style country? Let me know whatever it is that you're into when it comes to homeware and furniture and organisation as well because we do talk about organisation on this channel and over on my Instagram home account. But anyway, I've rambled on enough guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you ever so much for tuning in today. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!